Are you going to say how could uh, the stuff you do be credible? It's like this, basically. It's much more credible than this. Uh, Polish police, Polish police foremost, insisted that they are going to get me. That they are going to get me all through. I was not the one who had violated the stuff they did. And it was not only Polish, it was Slovenian, it was Czech. By watching me, the stuff I, um, I do, I report about, I recognize, I manage to identify it from MKUltra scenarios, from being drugged up and brought to Poland, Czech Republic, Eastern Europe. There's a lot of stuff that went on in Russia too, in Belarus. Slovenia, of course. Um, and once I'm done with it, they're just gonna come out out of the shelves and just uh, take me along with them. They did this in Lodz, they talked about this stuff. They're gonna put me in the car and they're gonna drive me around and asking me questions and see what I really remember or not, uh, that this is the system they are gonna use against me and get me. Um, and that's why, in a, in a certain way, I, I, I got angry because there was a lot of stuff I remembered and I deliberately did not ask because of the stupid uh, stuff. I am not, I don't fear any kind of, any kind of pressure from justice from anybody because there are many locations, the stuff that I have seen I can pull out of my head when I concentrate on and uh, give myself a little time to go over with that is just uh, kind of uh, incredible how much stuff uh, over the years, how much stuff I did manage somehow to preserve in my head in respect to uh, past in the Czech Republic in Poland where I supposedly never was. Like I said, between 95, between mid 2000 and 16 years, talking about 11 years and a half, I never ever supposedly was even in Europe. Uh, and on, after that, I never supposed to be in Poland. In Poland, I was one time in 2000 and 2006 when I came back from the US with a truck driver from Kirka Pharmaceutical uh, as I was going to do a truck driving I went for a ride to Warsaw one time uh, and then back basically for one day that's all there was in my lifetime supposedly till 2018 when I came to Poland now, however, I remember everything about what went on since 1995 in Poland. Uh, entire towns, how they, they, they made a construction. Uh, buildings, how they changed the environments, people alone. Stories from the people, their personal stories and so on. And likewise in Czech Republic. It's the Polish state alone, it's the Czech state alone, it's all these people that they have audio recorded me. The authenticity of the stuff that you hear, the audio recordings. Can you imagine that you would go to a foreign country and you would do interviews like this? If, we, if you would not know what you're talking about and stuff like this, you would be, they would make you disappear like before you even know. They would discredit and destroy you. Uh, was authenticated by the Polish, by the Czech state. I understand that's another thing the police told me, the Polish police told me, they will be recording. The people who they will inject in the scenarios will alone be recording the stuff. And wherever I would be doing my stuff, I would be recorded. They would record, they would survive us 24 seven, whatever I would do. Uh, so that much about the authenticity of my stuff, There is some other stuff I was going to add, I'm trying to recall. Very important, I was just going to let go. Uh, should not 
do that kind of stuff. This is stuff. These are really proofs. This is what this is. Uh, that I would be rated not only watched by and recorded by the Polish state, by the Czech state or whatever I will do. But also the whole thing will be transmitted to foreign governments who participate in this stuff. And yet another very, very important stuff. This is what the Czech police was big at. This is what the Czech Republic was good. Ooh, the Czech Republic. I'm going to put it this way. Czech people love me and Polish people love me too. I have already explained how the things were. But somebody really did not love me, not even a little bit. And that somebody did even less love his own people. And it was on the both sides of the border, in Poland and in Czech Republic. And trust me, they don't love, they did not love, not even the people uh, for whose sake they have claimed they have done uh, bad stuff. And I already have explained about that stuff and took their side too, I always will. Uh, I believe that we are all in it together as a people, as a human beings versus some political interests, special interests uh, that got along the way involved in this stuff. Another thing I was told by the Czech police, with this is just a total unbelievable stuff. They wanted to screw up the people from the Bohumins. Bohumin, this is a community along the border, uh, Polish border. You have an old Bohumin and then you have a new Bohumin. Old Bohumin is a city next to, smaller city, next to, right next to the border with Hauki, where Poland is. And then you have a new Bohumin, this is about maybe four kilometers inland uh, into Czech Republic, uh, more toward Ostrava and so on, uh, that is just a new Bohumin. And in, in, in this both towns, people got involved a lot, especially in this old Bohumin, this is where it all started. First, um, people praised me, I mean, they had me like uh, one of theirs, like uh, over there. I was told that I am one of them and I kind of felt like this. This boys that I met since they were young men and then unfortunately uh, bad things happened along the way to them. Uh, it's also why I feel that I am part of this community. I am, I am a Bohumin guy actually. And also from the no Bohumin, because it's also a lot of people from all kinds of backgrounds and circumstances that got involved in it. And I got to know them, I got to see them, and they got to play with me and so on. Uh, sometimes nice, sometimes rough. Um, a Czech police, because the proofs were raining. The proofs from old Bohumin and new Bohumin, they were raining. Anywhere from private people from the private citizens, entire old Bohumin, and wherever I would go in a new Bohumin, everywhere I would go, people would just appear and then it would just, it's like sit in the pocket in a nutshell. This is things I have seen, it's unmistakable, it's unbelievable. The first people that on the buses I have met them, I met them on the streets and so on, and I know their stories. I know their life stories, I know their private lives, Thanks, I actually even know where they work, um, but I know a lot. It's like I would actually have really, I would leave half of life over there. Um, Czech police insisted that they will actually, one day, you know, I would commute myself 15 kilometers one way on a foot, 12, 15 kilometers all the way to Ostrava from Polish border in a search for job and then I would return back and that was also good because I identify all the shortcuts everything all the routes every every little stone uh, even a paddles you understand even a paddles uh, where they always were and they still are even the flowers there are certain flowers that they always grew and they always remain wild, I'm talking about, I could recall, 
scene and stuff. It's unbelievable stuff I have recorded that I'm going to put gradually in the internet. I can't do all this. I have to move on with life and then, uh, you know, just do all this stuff along the way, like a hobby kind of stuff. But the UN really has got to do the part because this is, I'm 50 years old. I lost 26 years of life in this stuff. So one day, because I would commute with a bus one way to Ostrom and then on the way back I would go and I would walk for five hours. Um, as I would do also investigations and all kinds of stuff like this. See the stuff and so on. And it just, you would see the stuff that you have seen and would just drag it inside in this panorama and you would just find yourself and you would recall from MK Ultra memories stuff you have gone through. It was really experience. Uh, and it's a beautiful Czech Republic and people interesting and, and stuff like that. And the same Poland, the same way. Uh, in a way it was enjoyable, but in other, other ways this was very, very bad, very, very sad stuff. Um, they told me one day they stopped me over there in, in Bochum and I have completely identified Bochum. And they told me, they said to me, two police officers asked them what would happen if I would go with a car that is without, uh, you know, it's not the title, is not on me and I have recording. They, they told me, yeah, you can go inside, you can go to Czech Republic as long as you have on a paper that you give this to the police and stuff like this and so on and so forth. Uh, and I, I can recall Americans when they told me, the psychologist told me, this is how they will get you inside. On the brink, on the border between the Czech Republic and Poland, it's going to be everything so nice, this and that, they're going to be so nice to you, but this... And with the jobs in Ostrava, they're going to promise you they will get you inside. And once they're going to get you inside, they're going to rip you and destroy the car and everything apart. Actually, this is what they have stolen from me. They have stolen a lot of proofs from the tent up. Actually, even my moving with the vehicle across the Ostrava to that location where I stayed, uh, which I already designated prior to arrival. And along the way, as I would drive, you know, on the videos and on the audio recording itself on the night as I travel, it's recorded that uh, on my way going there, it's a dot that appears on the GPS where the woods are. And this is a sign as I am traveling on the GPS, I have determined that this is the destination I want to be. They told me, if we see that you go to this location, we're going to try to give you a sign don't go and they have done like extensive 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 stuff cluster for me not to go there but that place was just that place was just um i'm not gonna say abandoned with the proofs but that place was like a totally situated with the proofs totally totally situated with the proofs about mk ultra and they have stolen me the phones everything um memory cards USB keys, everything, and break the car and everything. Uh, as soon as I got to that location, this is actually true. I was so happy I got there, but as soon as I got there the first day, it was nothing else than beating, breaking and stuff like that. Yes, the police basically jumped on me like you wouldn't believe. They talked about the homeless people. I've never seen a single homeless person. Actually, I would commute myself all the way to uh, Ostrava to the library from there I have not seen a single homeless person. I can tell you all about the homeless people in Ostrava because I know since the beginning, since 95, I can tell you everything, the history about it. I can tell you about the Roma people where they used to live. Uh, I can tell you about what kind of approach did Czech state had toward them and, and stuff like this. I can tell you all you want to know. You, you can, If you're a social worker, you would be shocked about the stuff I know about the Ostrava over the years when I was brought there and I was drugged up along the people learn about the stuff about what went on what they have seen and what they demonstrated me well basically what I saw through their eyes by asking to people by getting people involved in, in this case to help me out uh, the amount of information I managed to take with me so this is like this so this is this is one of the things also this is about the Czech police I can't judge also the Czech and Polish police because of pack of the police officers that were like 
well this was really really vicious you know this this kind of stuff this was like totally vicious and what happened in Grotniki with that Polish police was also totally vicious you know they insisted on physical fights and stuff like this uh, this is not really what the police should be for but we do have a police officers like this too uh, but because of this stuff we cannot judge entire police force like this in a negative way I alone wanted to become a police officer believe me uh, I had no understanding as a person as a human being for any other stuff like this uh, I, it, it didn't come to me it didn't come to me to the point that I turn against basically against the whole world for what they did because I would not accept this you see and I was I passed entrance to police academy I qualified as a police officer as a correctional officer as a law enforcement FBI central intelligence agency officer I qualified but they wouldn't let me be because of this stuff and I would just happen to be one of them so it's very very it's extremely unjust uh, to label the whole police department with the attitude of few police officers, law enforcement officers, whatever officers on behalf of few politicians is completely wrong. Just like you say, because a few Polacks, because a few Czechs, that both nations are evil and stuff like this, what Donald Trump uh, actually wanted to produce with this case. In the Navi Bohemian, in the new Bohemian, uh, Mr. Havel, this is a Czech politician, uh, his statue, which was right in front of the cinema, was placed inside of the, um, inside of the uh, city house. So you have everything on the videos. And guess what they did? They put the fish, like four fishes like this, around the water fountain. And they told me this is for you. Uh, you did something for us. Uh, these politicians didn't do anything for us. Uh, this was in New Bohumin. Um, in Ostrava, however, the gentleman, because of the stuff that went on, uh, unfortunately, I also was part of it. I'm not denying that I did steer the stuff that I shouldn't really all, all kinds of stuff that went on went as far as poisoning Ostravica river a beautiful river because of me literally and killed all the fish he was later on evaluated by psychiatrists and he was actually pulled away from a CEO from administration of the company obviously because he was the one who ordered the poisoning of the river. He would go and release the shit inside of the river, uh, which, I don't know, whether they harvest or not fish in there, they probably do, I would say, uh, but I can tell you, because I remember all the way, this happened 22 years ago in 98, 99. The, the, they just, violence just, just exploded, man. It, it, the whole thing just became 22 years in 98 became completely uncontrollable ah uh, boy I was drugged up but when it comes to fish I mean the stuff that I like that, that I am interested in uh, it doesn't matter how many years I mean it doesn't matter I, it, I could be whatever old I would remember because I am with a passion uh, a fisher man and I remember in Ostravica where the fish was I remember as I walked back toward Ostrava, I remember exactly where in 98, in 97, fish was, where we were able to see the fish and where not, and how did the fish uh, go itself back and not. And I can tell you, disaster still did not recuperate itself from 98 poisoning. That is how much Ostrava, Bohumin are connected to me. I'm connected to these people, make no mistake. Um, people in Ostrava uh, were happy to see me. They were excited to see me. There were a few hot hats too, but they were just as happy as to see me just as I was happy to see them too. Uh, and yeah, because a few people, because a few exceptions, um, unfortunately, a few exceptions, uh, you know, you cannot judge the whole situation it was also a dirty play 
in respect to psychologists. It was extremely dirty play from the Czech Republic. I have to say that. It was a dirty play uh, gesturing again certain people that pull the strengths uh, on how she became a popular on how she became a popular over the night and that actually involved Harry that she became more popular than he actually across the night that he is envious and that they this and that, that how did she became so popular and what they did in the background they started to suggest that she make an agreement with them that anything that I do in the Czech Republic they would report to her and then she would take steps against me with beatings with all kinds of stuff for which she absolutely knew nothing about and she never ever was part of it and this is what the Czech police the Czechia police from Ostrava had a biggest problem with me this is what we have the biggest problem with me because I was analyzing this stuff as I would be moving through the Bohemians and Ostrava area and I was analyzing absolutely everything from the, from the memories from what I have seen they would use women get me to the stores humiliate me there were there would be beatings and stuff like this there will be all kinds of stuff yelling barking at me they would use dogs threatening them to release them on me and in Poland and in Czech Republic imagine you are drugged up and you have a big pit bulls German shepherds that they are about to jump at you and stuff like this yeah we're talking about stupid shit crazy schizophrenic schizo shit bad crazy shit people that should really be inside of the mental hospitals uh, instead of whom it's just like American said to me in Miami there are more crazy people outside than inside he said this is actually true in this case there was not even a trace of craziness in me but the stuff that was done to me under MK Ultra was unbelievable yet I was the one they put inside of the mental hospital it's this kind of stuff and I'm talking about the stolen SD cards stolen phones these thoughts that I use to process the thoughts to organize everything label all the memories in proper drawers that Czech police have stolen away from me with those memory cards and that's fucked up because just as American psychologists told me this is what they're going to use against you basically against you not only against you it would be against me it would be okay but actually even against her this is what the Czech police angered me really 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 angered me and this is the stuff they're going to give to Donald Trump, American administration to take advantage against me. That's what actually really they are.